good see it was right now being getting a piece of it. They take it forever then. Been in there for five. 30 minutes. Oh, my bad, y'all. I had to get that. I got three. I don't know what the hell's going on. They take forever. Brother and me ain't giving me no receipt. No man. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ringing off the hook. Girl, I ain't having my name. Nothing. I don't know what the fuck going on there. Oh, yeah. What you got? They said mine ready, so I guess I don't know. One eternity later. I don't got that piece of nine, bitch. That damn little cheese. I'm about to check this, bitch. Cause, bruh, they was back. That bitch playing. That little ass fucking piece of bruh. Bruh, try it, bruh. Try it, bruh. That piece of little as hell, man. Nah, this is the only deal right here, nah. Look, look, look at this motherfucking piece right here, right? Look at this motherfucker right here. Y'all probably can't see that bitch on camera, bro, but that bitch, look, bro. <sighs> then look at this pepperoni. Like, the fuck, bitch, Valentine's Day? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Where my life set up right now, bro? I ain't even finna. <laughs> I ain't even finna get mad, bitch. I've been in this bed 30 minutes. <sighs> it is what it is. Motherfucker going outside smoking a cigarette. Outside on the phone, back down on the phone. I mean, what do you expect? Just, just little Caesars, I guess. I mean, but shit. It was real apologetic in that bit now, but it's like, damn, bro. 30 minutes for, for that? Da da da. My bad, y'all. They already got their money. But yeah, now I'm on the way back to the house, man. Sorry this video started so late, but yeah. Look at him. He, he going back out the door. <sighs> All right, well, I'll see y'all when I get to the house. Back at it again with the white vans. So I'm coming in here. Daddy O is uh, sick. He, um, he got a high fever. Pretty good. How are you? Um, he got a high fever. Um, so I'm coming in here and getting him some Tylenol. Cause he shit at 101. My wife just checked it. Everybody in here getting a uh, getting a uh, what that shit called? Halloween costumes, nah. <laughs> I don't even know if we gonna be able to attend no nothing Halloween this year to be honest. Shit yeah. Love a game between the blessing, boy. I know they wanna be, but shit. I know they wanna you know do Halloween, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to. These work pants be at the bitter $18. Boy, God dang. These work pants, nah. I gotta get some more work pants. I don't know, man. I'm gonna think about it. These motherfuckers be expensive, eh? Be expensive. I think they got like a little clearance rack somewhere. They might have some of them over there, hopefully. I ain't for certain. Now show for the check, cause 
I am not finna. $18 for the work pants, boy. And you ain't got it like that, cool. Eighteen dollars is a lot right now, y'all. <laughs> Tell me, a whole lot. Damn, my ear bother me. My bad, y'all. <laughs> it's starting to bother me again, y'all. What these uh Eighteen dollars. We can't even have no goddamn. What's the name? I don't want no pockets on them. At least. Yeah, the EBC right here. I'll do 15 now, nah, but they ain't no work pants. They jeans. I can't have them. And they ain't got blacks. So, uh, yeah. Let me go over here and look at this medicine first. And I'll come back over here to this. Because, boy. But yeah, so I ended up getting a pizza. Uh, the kids ate a pizza. Um, I didn't record. I should have recorded at the house, but I just didn't. I just got back to the house and kind of like wind down a little bit because shit just, I don't know, starting to get a little overwhelming. Uh, my wife had cleaned up. She had some help over there. That got done for the most part. Still got a couple things to do at the house, but for the most part, like I said, that's done. The big, the big portion of it, really. So, uh, I'm about to see about this. Children's Tylenol from two to eleven. So I come here to get over here in this. You know, This what I got. Two to eleven. My son, he's eleven, so yeah, he'll be twelve. I'm tripping. Yeah, he'll be twelve uh, in December. So that's what I'm here doing. Um, still thinking about these work pants. Uh, yeah. So let me get off this bed. So I can focus. Because my mind is off track. I was supposed to get something else, but let me get off here so I can focus on what I need to get. Alright. Came, I saw, I conquered. So I came in here and got what I needed to get out of here. Um, Tylenol. I was supposed to, I, I just thought I could not remember for the life of me what else I came in here to get. So I ended up just getting Tylenol. I was gonna get the pants, but I'm like, nah, can't afford the pants right now. So I ain't even finna like try to stretch it and try to get the pants when I know I can't afford it. So, yeah, that's forever. About to be back on the way to the house. Right. I'll be forgetting the music on, but be forgetting. So yeah, back on the way to the house now. Give daddy a little sick, but this medicine, uh, he got a fever, like I told y'all, my wife checked it, it was 101, so she said he was getting hot before then, but I got told him he was under those covers too, so that could play a part in it as well. I don't know, man. I ain't really got nothing to talk about right now, bro. Like, I've really been, like I said, just in my thoughts about a lot. Just life, what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, my brother just sent me something for another opportunity. But, of course, I work, which sucks because it's like a job fair, basically, and it's, 
you know, it's more money. And I just know it's going to be a lot of people there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of people there for that job fair. So. I don't know, man. Got to think about what I want to do. Because, I mean, I could do that for the time being. You know, that's could potentially be a whole lot more money, but I know they won't, excuse me, y'all, uh, I know they won't experience uh, let these windows up, my bad job, but I know they won't experience uh, like warehouse workers and stuff like that, and you know, I ain't got no experience in the warehouse, but you know, doing trucks and stuff like that, I got experience with, so, who knows, man. Who knows? So I'm just thinking about that now. Like, what should I do? You know, should I go into work? Should I not go into work so I can attend that to see what I can uh, see what I can do? Uh, so yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. Uh, that's another opportunity. Like I said, that could potentially be, you know little bit more money than what I'm making now, so I would love that. For sure love that. Especially now, it's around the holidays too, boy. I try to keep both of them. I try to keep both of them. Just work during the day at one, and at night work the other. I'm gonna be one tired ass, but gotta do what I gotta do, man. Got the, I don't know, I might, I just might, I just might just take that chance, man, and just go to that thing tomorrow, um, don't miss that opportunity, shit, or I might just tell the ad, hey, I got to get off early, <laughs> go in early so I can get off early, so I can make it to this, uh, job fell man try to see what else I can I can get to I don't know man I'm just speaking out loud I know y'all don't like this so look uh I'm gonna stop the video for now uh, I might just continue the video tomorrow um because it's yeah it ain't not really too much going on right now so I ain't gonna talk talk to y'all no more I'm gonna get out y'all away for the night uh you know I'll turn this thing back on tomorrow so, I ended up not going to the job fair. Uh, my brother called me and basically told me that it was like 150 people in front of him. <clears throat> so, I'm glad I didn't like get off early or call off to go there because I would have been really really pissed off I would have got there and basically told him oh I'm sorry y'all basically told him he had a they had a he was in line I was on the phone with him when they told him that basically he has a five percent chance of even getting an interview and he said that they were only looking for 12 people this is gonna be the end of the video, man. I didn't really do too much, and I'm not gonna keep dragging it on. I, I worked today, so I wasn't able to record nothing. But my next video is gonna be dope. Um, I'm going somewhere, got invited somewhere. Um, yeah, man, and I feel like it's gonna be dope. So, yeah, man, pray for peace. Um, but. I don't know how to say it, man. So surrender everything that you have. I'm sorry for my background, but I'm watching the movie. I didn't know what to watch, so um, just watching the movie that I've all, I've watched already. It's usually how I get. It. Yeah. So I, don't, I like I said, I don't know how I don't know how to say it. Like just surrender your life over over to the Lord, man. Um. Like let let him let him take control. You gotta let him take control because he he he's all knowing. He's all knowing. 
So instead of, you know, trying to worry yourself about something that I had to turn that off. But yeah, like he's all knowing you're worrying yourself about something that's already fixed. If you just surrender uh, your life over, you know. Give it all to him because that's what he wants you to do. Instead of trying to take on all that responsibility that he wants you to give him. Yeah. So just just surrender it, man. Just 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 give it all. Just give it all to God, man. Really. Like, just give it all to him because he is all knowing. He is all knowing. And he knows what to do. You just have to trust in his direction. In the path that he's taking you. You put in stuff on Google Maps and you trust Google Maps to take you where you need to go. So why not trust in the Lord to take you, take your life in a direction that it's supposed to be in? I don't know. I'm just a messenger. So yeah, I'm going to get off here because Haley is... Really being a bug right now. She's been a bug. So. Okay. Haley, okay. I'm going to get off here, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Like I always say, whatever you do, lead with love. Because love always wins. Alright. Subscribe.